Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'll be showing you how you can cover up all of your problems by simply sticking a piece of paper over them. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just kidding. That is actually not a great way to fix your problems, but it is a great way to fix a really disastrous drawing or painting in a sketchbook. And that is exactly what I'm doing here. I tried to use watercolours in this Ohuhu marker sketchbook and well you might have guessed it didn't really turn out very well um, and I tried and tried for a really long time to make it work and in the end I just thought you know what I'm gonna this this has got to go. <laughs> Now, perhaps you're thinking that this is just a sketchbook. It doesn't matter if an artwork goes wrong, but this sketchbook is my nice sketchbook. Um, and I have really tried hard on all the pages so far to make nice drawings and practice with my markers really, and also try out some pencils and things like that. So I just thought I'd try out watercolors and this paper does not like watercolors. I've seen people use them with this paper on YouTube before and I gotta say I don't know how they done what they done because um, this just did not work I absolutely hated it and then I just thought what am I gonna do about this I could stick any sort of paper over the top and uh, do another alcohol marker drawing over the top but at the time I was really fancy in some colored pencils and here's my reference photo I'll stick it on the screen now for you to see it's also on unsplash so you can download it for yourself it's a royalty free photo website so you can download that for yourself and use it however you want and as you can see that reference photo is a picture of some bubbles on a black background so I just thought I would get the black paper out and try it out for myself what you can see me doing on the screen right now is just add in some glue from my little um, glue tape dispenser thing because I tried a cheap glue stick and it didn't stick anything it was absolutely awful so my trusty little glue dispenser tape thing come to the rescue by the way I don't think I said in the beginning there that my name is Amber and welcome to my YouTube channel um, thank you so much for clicking on this video and I hope you enjoy it so this is where this video really gets started I suppose um, in my last two videos I actually started this sketchbook spread so in the first one I drew the reeds in the top left corner with alcohol markers and a um, couple of other things and then in the last video I drew this um, that little fish there in the bottom left corner so in this one I'll be finishing up this sketchbook spread by drawing these bubbles and also just showing you the last few details on that little cake in the corner there. The black paper that I'm using here is by Strathmore and it's their Art Again black paper. I've had this little pad just laying around for ages and I've only really tested it out with a few things. Um, never with coloured pencils and I was so pleasantly surprised. I absolutely loved how this painting come out or drawing should I say. Um, and yeah the colour pencils help a lot too these are the Derwent Chromaflow pencils I've got a set of 24 and they are absolutely beautiful pencils to work with as you can see they are super opaque and layer on this paper so well I did used to be a realistic pet portrait artist and I used coloured pencils so I have a lot of different brands of coloured pencils and have tried them out all quite a lot over the years and I've got to say these pencils these um, chroma flow they are lovely they might not be as light fast as a lot of other pencils like luminance or the Derwent light fast for instance or even the um, Faber Castell Polychromos they're another one of my favorites but they are beautiful to work with especially in a sketchbook so if you are looking for maybe a nice set of pencils to use in a sketchbook and you're not too bothered about like light fastness and whether they'll fade or not um, I would totally totally recommend these as I said I, I've got the set of 24 and they're just lovely they really are really nice color range as well uh, I could sing the praises of these pencils all day because I think they're my favorite at the moment the only thing that I'm not so keen on with them and it's also something that I like about them but um, is the barrel the barrel is really really thin um, 
normally colour pencil barrels, pencil barrels are a little bit thicker and so I feel like that contributes to a little bit of pencil breakage while you're sharpening so you do have to be a bit more careful when you're sharpening these pencils for sure and make sure you have a nice sharp sharpener um, but apart from that I do really like them and I I, I also like that the, the barrels are small I just don't like that I feel that it doesn't help with the breakages anyways you can't have everything can you um, but yeah, can you see just how nicely they are layering on this paper and you can do a nice few layers with them too Especially if you've got nice sharp pencil you can just layer and layer and layer and I could have gone a lot further with this drawing I could have made it a lot more realistic and detailed, but I got to a certain point in the end where I well, I'm trying to steer away from realism a little bit more these days and just try and be a little bit more expressive. So I didn't really want to spend the time on it. And I'd already spent so much time on the watercolour version in the beginning that I, I kind of wanted to get this done in one night pretty much, which is what I did. So if you haven't watched the last two videos and you're just joining me for this one then you might be wondering why do I have so many random things all on one sketchbook page and that is because I am slowly working my way through a prompt list well it's my prompt list prompt prompt my prompt list it's the January one and I'm still working through it now um, I've also got a February one and a March prompt list as well and it's all just full of inspiring prompts sort of themed around the month sort of not just to bring some creative inspiration to your art practice and get you out of your comfort zone so I, I really love working with a prompt list I think that it it really can get you out of your comfort zone with trying new mediums and trying maybe something that you don't usually draw like a different subject or something like that and I just find that I learn a lot. Those prompt lists are over on Instagram so follow me over there and join in with the prompts. I'd love to see your art and watch you grow. So I decided that I was finished with the coloured pencil part of this now and it's time to go in with the gel pen. If you've been around here for a while, my YouTube channel, then you'll know that I really like to use gel pens or a white gouache paint to add my details at the end. I've been using more and more gel pens actually. I've been doing a little bit of gouache painting recently and also watercolour and I just, I use, I use gel pens uh, all sorts of colors now for everything and I have these nice smelly gel pens too which is super fun <laughs> like a child one thing I loved about this is just how well the gel pens stuck to this paper and on top of these colored pencils it worked really really well so just quickly while I'm finishing up this bubble drawing I just want to say Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for being here and watching this video. And if you're enjoying it, please subscribe if you would like to see more arty and chatty videos. That's what I kind of do here. I just like to use this channel so far as like a visual diary to talk about art and show you what I'm working on, really. I am absolutely loving YouTube and just having my own little platform on the internet that's not just Instagram. It's, uh, it's been really nice, a nice little space to be, so I'm grateful to have you here. I've got a lot of videos and artwork that are just ready for me to voice over and share with you, so I'm really looking forward to sharing everything I've been working on with you um, over the next few months. And here it is, my finished bubble drawing. I really, really enjoyed it. It's nothing special, was just a bit of fun and some practice on black paper, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So I hope you like it. Next up is the shiny prompt. And obviously you can see that it's pretty much finished here. Um, I decided one night to just get in bed and not film what I was doing because well I don't know I was probably in a mood or something so I got cozied up in bed with my alcohol markers and just decided to draw this prompt out and then I regretted not recording it because I actually loved how it came out and then I was gutted because I wanted to share it with you but anyway I have to I feel like I might do a bigger version of this on a whole page in this sketchbook because I just love the colors I love everything about it so it's probably my favorite one of my favorite little drawings so far in the sketchbook which is annoying because 
It always is the way, isn't it? The one that I don't record is the one that I enjoy the most. Or perhaps that is why I enjoyed it the most. Hmm. Anyways, um, you can see that I am going on top now with coloured pencils. It's the Chromaflow pencils again, and they work really, really well on top of the alcohol markers in this sketchbook. It is the Ahuhu marker sketchbook. Just saying that again in case you missed it the first time. And yeah, so you do see a little bit of alcohol markers here. I, I do go on top and add a few more layers, a little bit more darker colours and stuff, but the the pencils layer really, really nicely on top of the markers in this sketchbook and it is one of my favourite combos at the moment. Here is the reference photo on the screen. You can see why I used it for the shiny prompt and oh, I can still taste this little cake today. I had it at an afternoon tea I went to. I can't remember where it was now, but um, it was, I can still taste it. <laughs> it was delicious. Now that I look at this drawing with the photo right by the side of it, I can see that there's a lot wrong with this little drawing actually. And isn't that good that there's so much wrong, but also it's got such a little character to it. I don't know whether you think that, but I do. I, I love that, the little drawing. I think it's got its own little character and I, I really like it. But yeah, now that I see the problems, I will definitely do this again. I, it was such a fun little drawing. I definitely want to do it again bigger. So look out for that one if you're interested. I, that'll be a video coming up in the future. I'm going to start working on that soon. I've definitely learned my lesson, I think, <laughs> with recording as well. I really did regret not recording the whole thing with this because it just looked so good as it was coming together. But um, yeah, I'll record more of my art now. <laughs> There's just nothing better though, is there, than like getting all cozied up on the sofa or in bed and sticking some telly on or something and just doing some art in bed. But when you want to do a YouTube channel, I suppose you need to record more. Just have to think about how much I enjoy making the actual videos and then I don't mind doing the recording. <laughs> Anyway, um, I've said anyway in this video quite a lot, but anyways, I really enjoy working in all mediums. I absolutely love watercolour, I love alcohol markers, coloured pencils, gouache, acrylics, all of it. So if there's any sort of medium in particular that you might be interested in or like interested in trying, then let me know. I'll, I'll definitely make some more videos around like things that you would like to see. So let me know in the comments. And that's it for this little strawberry cake. Um, as I've said over and over, I just love it. I love how it come out. I love the colors. It makes me really happy. And that also finishes it up for this whole sketchbook spread, a whole page full of random prompts and colorful art. So I really hope you have enjoyed this little series of free videos. I will link the first two videos in the description box if you want to see those and in the next video which will be next week I have got another drawing on black paper and it's going to be a little tutorial so I'm excited to share that with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!